Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. What have you gained from your mum? The mitochondria. <laughs> the mitochondria, the energy. I think the. Um, I don't know. This question always makes me wonder because I think if she was around, I would have been able to answer it a lot more freely. But now that she's not, I keep thinking. People might think it's arrogant of myself to draw parallels between me and my mom. I don't think it's arrogant. It's your mom. It's my mom, right? But like, people will never perceive it like that because to them, she's Sri Devi Kapoor, but to me, she's my mom. And the way that I walk across the corridor in the morning, apparently, I walk like her. Apparently, when I eat food and the sounds I make are exactly like her. Apparently. My voice is very similar to hers. Apparently, I cry like her. Um, I'm needy like her. I think I'm a little switch on and switch off in front of the camera like her. Artsy. I've been told. <laughs> yeah. Art. Uh, I think I'm sensitive like her. Can I say another cliched thing to you? Yeah. Your eyes have the same endearing energy that her eyes have. That's sweet. and i say that from the limited films i've seen of your mom but mm-hmm. i've seen mr india and i know oh, the, i love the, oh you've seen mr yeah. india i mean i'm mr india. i'm indian dude <laughs> but <laughs> i don't know you can say get out and hereditary so i was like okay <laughs> but you know the I, all i remember about her and mr india is this scene with um where she takes over a room of kids and I, i i barely even remember the story of it but i remember anecdotes from the film yeah i remember her clearly and the energy <laughs> she she set in the room with kids yeah and uh, as a kid watching that as a four year old watching it you're gripped by this endearing woman's energy yeah and you have something similar for sure but that i'm saying after meeting you yeah hmm hmm but um, would you would you agree when i say that there's like some endearing energy like you're it's probably that empath stuff You want me to call myself enduring? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? I think I'm not? the most enduring charming <laughs> person you're ever going to meet. <laughs> I think I think you're uh very enduring <laughs> for for people who understand what that means they'll see it. For people who possibly don't understand what that means they'll call you mysterious and charming or some or brooding or something like that. <laughs> brooding. But, but there's a lot of uh observation in your eyes, there's a lot of retention in your eyes and there's like a lot of um it's a lot of art. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Uh, you know what? If you're comfortable speaking about your mom, mm-hmm. what would you like the world to know about her that they didn't know until now? I don't think anyone knows my mom at all. I think what I would, and there's so much love out there for her that I wouldn't even say anything that would. inspire those emotions in people because i think that's already there but what i would want her to know, want people to know is that it uh i think what she stood for in life was dignity and and innocence because she was such in my head a beacon of someone who after spending so many years in the industry was still a child was still so naive at the ways of the world <laughs> and innocent and um and sheltered and uh, i think that's what made her art so uncorrupted and made her so uncorrupted as a person and i think that through that what i would like to say is maybe it might inspire all of you all to look for the best in people as opposed to being skeptical or pessimistic because um well then if everyone expects the best in everyone else then maybe that's what the world will become <laughs> thank you for watching this clip if you want to learn more about this topic we've curated a playlist just for you and here's a link to the whole episode